Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. Wow, it's been a second since I've said that, but I've missed it. <laughs> Today I'm going to be getting ready for my day here on this beautiful island of Hawaii. I'm going to be showing you the look I've been wearing the most on the everyday, and these are the things that have been working for me in this climate. It's a really easy everyday lightweight look that ultimately makes me feel really cute and put together and just ready if I wanna take some photos here and there. But before I get to applying these products, today's video is kindly sponsored by Majuri, which is so, so exciting and such an honor. They are a Canadian jewelry brand and I adore their pieces so much. I wear them on the daily, no matter how fancy they are. I mean, their ethos is fine jewelry for my damn self no occasion required. So thank you, Majuri, for validating what I love doing on the daily. <laughs> Majuri is having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday. The sale is live today online and in store, and it goes from November 24th to November 29th, and you can get 20% off with a minimum spend of $150 USD. Now I'll show you some of my favorite pieces from Majuri that I brought on this trip to wear around. Their pieces are such high quality and I've had them for a very long time and they still look brand new. Their pieces are designed in-house and handcrafted by world-renowned jewelers committed to quality craftsmanship. They use 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold vermeil, ethically sourced diamonds, and their semi-precious and precious gemstones are triple A grade. They also launch new pieces weekly, which is really fun. Some of those launches are limited edition, which is nice because then you'll be able to get some pieces that not a lot of people will have. But of course they do have some core collections as well. My personal favorite is the Croissant collection. I have a lot of those pieces. Now there's a link that permanently lives in the description box of my videos, and that will take you to a landing page on Majuri with all of the pieces I own personally, just in case if you've been eyeing up a piece that I have. When it's not their Black Friday sale, you can use that link to get 10% off your first order. But please, while this Black Friday sale is here, please use it up since it only comes one time a year. But now before I start applying my makeup, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. I had two casualties this trip, which is sad. My Pat McGrath statuesque shadow did not make it. Oh, neither did my mirror. <laughs> which is okay because I was planning on painting this up when I get back home so it kind of worked out in my favor but I wish it held on a little bit longer I just have to hold it like this now but first things first well of course I already have all of my skincare down I just have moisturizer and my SPF but now getting into makeup finally I'm going to first use my milk hydro grip I have my little mini travel size here I take about two pumps of that this just glues my makeup onto my skin. Even when I get super, super sweaty, it just stays. I just kind of wait till it gets super tacky and then I'll move on to the next step. And I've actually been skipping out on foundation on the everyday just to make the routine a little quicker and so that my skin can breathe but I still want to kind of filter some of the areas of my skin. So I've been using the Josie Marin Vibrancy Concealer just because this is the deepest concealer I packed. I have a nice tan glow going on. So I just apply a little bit to the areas where I have some scarring or if I just want to slightly correct. And then it started off with laziness, but I've actually been using my Beauty Blender Dry. I don't know, it's been working out really well this trip. But now I just go over the areas where I applied concealer and I over blend it just so that I don't look like camouflage with all of these corrected areas. I don't care if like the imperfections show a little bit. I'm just doing this to kind of filter them so they're not so obvious. I feel like the lighting looks magical in my camera today. Maybe I should just stay here so I can film all of my videos in this magical lighting. So that's the first step. And now I take Whoop, first product down, but now I take my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix, just because this brightens up my under eyes and it also subtly corrects them. And I really like it because it's a lighter color for my skin right now. So it just looks really nice and awakening. So I just take a bit of that. While I try, this packaging is a little bit of a pain in the ass. See, I just squirted way too much. But again, I take my Dry Beauty Blender 
and I just blend that out. And I always take some up in this inner corner here because I do have some blueness that I like to brighten up. And I just pat, pat, pat till I'm happy. And again, kind of like the other concealer, I over blend it just so that I don't have any harsh, obvious edges. I concentrate in the area I want the most coverage first, of course, then over blend. Now, I do set that concealer, or the Bright Fix rather, with some of my Pat McGrath Blurring Under Eye Powder, but I actually set it with my sponge. I've never done this before, but I really like the effect. Uh, I just really wanted to pack a little bit more powder than I'm used to right under my eyes. I kind of subtly bake for like 20 seconds, just because I found that a majority of the products I brought become a lot more emollient in this climate. So I'm just trying to make them last like they do at home. And I also find that this powder, when applied like that, adds another filtered layer to your under eyes and they ultimately look more awake too. I really like it. I wonder how that would do at home. I'll have to see. So that's the base. All done, no foundation. I really, really like it. Now I'm going to add some dimension and everything. So I'm now taking my Iconic London Radiance Booster in the shade Champagne Glow. Oh, I forgot to mention all of the shades I was using. Vibrancy Concealer, been using the shade Light. Fenty Beauty Bright Fix, Butter, 05. Pat McGrath Powder, I don't know, gone. I think it's light though, the white one. And now I'm just taking it with my beauty blender and applying it to the areas where I want my radiance to be boosted. Now make sure to bring it a little bit higher than I would usually. Just when I turn my head, I get that like C shape, which I think is really pretty. Now for bronzer, the one I've been using the most is the Huda Beauty Glowish soft radiance bronzing powder. I use the shade 02 medium. I packed a few other bronzers as well, but I've been using this one the most on the daily just because it's very natural and very quick to apply. The other ones I packed like the Patrick Ta one and something else. Oh, the M Cosmetics So Soft stick. I like using those when I'm going out to dinner when I want more of a dramatic look, which I might film if we do end up going for dinner once again. I mean, this lighting is too nice not to film an extra video, you know? But yeah, I just take this on the areas where I want to bronze. I love applying my makeup when I'm naturally tanned. I feel like it just looks so much better. <laughs> like I don't really have to do much. But anyways, this brush is a blending fan brush, by the way, the best. And this is a really great beachy bronzer as well because it adds radiance to your skin as well. The same kind of radiance you would naturally have. Um, it doesn't, like mattify your skin or add an extra layer of coverage, especially if you're not wearing any foundation. Some bronzers can be a little full coverage, but this one is very, very see-through. So it just looks soup snatch. Voila. So now moving on to blush, I picked the perfect blush range on this trip. I haven't been really missing my blushes back at home, but I'll give you a little tour. You would have seen the blushes I packed in my previous video, my pack with me, but I brought two of the MAC colors, Burnt Pepper and Gingerly. Love these two on this trip, especially if I want something with a little bit more longevity. I also packed the Patrick Ta blush palette, which I've been wearing a ton on this trip. I've been loving these pinks here. Uh, and as well as this, it's just the perfect blush palette for me. <laughs> and of course I had to pack this one here. I mean, it's fit for traveling, but this one actually performs very differently in a humid and warm climate. It still performs very beautifully, still obsessed with it, but it just brings out a lot more of the dew. It's interesting, but yes, blush and lips, very interchangeable this trip. I've been loving switching it up on the daily. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute. See you in a few. <laughs> I'm back five minutes later. I also forgot to mention something I discovered this trip is that these colors mix together beautifully. A combination I've been doing quite a bit is these two shades combined together and it creates this beautiful rosy tone with a lot of bronze in it. It's stunning. But I wore this yesterday, and now that I was talking about Foxglove from Rose Inc., I think I'm going to go this route and use it as my lip color as well. So I'm taking my Quo Beauty HD Foundation. 
and I'm gonna pack it on as usual. And I've also been applying my blush on my nose a little bit higher than usual, right on my bridge, just for a little different look to change it up from the huge. So cute. I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm now taking a little bit of powder from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to set the center of my face just for longevity purposes. Um, and also when I want to like reapply sunscreen, I have been using this here, the Super Goop Resetting Powder. It has SPF 45 and it's been really, really nice. Um, it lives in my beach bag. I'm actually gonna chuck it near my beach bag because I do have ADHD and I will forget that and uh, I do not want to do that on that. And this always brings the blush back down to earth, kind of settles it down. I'm now just going to do my brows off camera real quick, so please enjoy the brow intermission, Hawaii edition. <laughs> Okay, so now for eyes, some days I'll just put on some mascara, some days I'll do a little eyeshadow and a little bit of a liner. I think I'm going to do that today, um, just so I can spend a little bit more time with you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to be using my Biba palette today, but I'm first going to take a little bit of my poor Pat McGrath crumbled eyeshadow. This is for sure just going to live here from now on and I'll order another color. This is just my perfect neutral transition shade that suits every look. Um, ever since I rediscovered it in my collection, I've been using it every day. I might actually even skip out on the Biba palette to be honest. I might just go in with an actual eyeliner instead of eyeshadow. I feel like that will be more long wearing. I'm planning on hitting the beach a little later. I'm not doing anything super crazy. I'm just doing something I like on my specific eye shape that just accentuates it really nicely. Now that that transition shade is in my crease, I'm now taking my Makeup by Mario soft brown pencil. Look how baby it is. I'm really getting near the butt of the pencil here. And I'm going to take some of the pencil right on the brush. And I'm just starting that on my lower lash line just to get this really nice flattering angle. And then I'm going to take it from that outer point and drag it down. And sometimes I'll bring the liner all the way in, but I kind of like just the accentuation of the outer bit. It got a little thick today, but it's just what was meant to be. And before it completely sets, I like to take a little blending brush to kind of soften the lower portion. But if it does set beforehand, you just go over with your crease color and it should soften it out right away just because it is a softer liner color. My contacts are foggy, so I can't tell if I filled it in properly or what. If it's not, sorry, my eyes are shit. Um, <laughs> but now I'm taking that little ColourPop brush again and I'm taking that transition shade I put on on the lower lash line. I'm just going to do this eye off camera real quick and I'll be right back. <laughs> and here are the eyes all done. These are the mascaras I used. So the Rare Beauty on my top lashes and the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up Mascara for my lower lashes. So now let's move on to lips and then we're finished. So I'm first going to line my lips up with the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. You can actually use this in a multitude of ways, but I like this color the most on my lips. I'll bring you guys in a little closer and I'll kind of explain what I like to do. So I overline my lips just on my cupid's bow and underneath my lips, but then I go on my actual lip line on the outer portions of my lips. Then it just adds more height to my lips, which I really enjoy. And I also have like this little lip, I don't know what it's called, a shelf? I always call it my shelf because when I have fallout from my shadow, it always lands right here. But yeah, I overline it right there because it still looks natural. I feel like I can get away with a little bit more overlining there. It's 
So I go over and then now I go under. Because if I go over, over here, I feel like I look like that character in Wallace and Gromit, the girl with the red hair. Same down here, add a little bit of height. There we are. And now I'm going to pat over with a little bit of my rose ink, foxglove blush. And I kind of leave it full on because it tends to fade a bit because I love rubbing my lips together. <laughs> and there we are. This is the look I've been doing the most often. Some days I'll skip out on a couple steps like the highlighter, bronzer even, I don't know. I just wanted to show you the whole shebang and spend a little bit more time with you all. But here is the look. I just zoomed you guys out so you can see the full look in action. I just love this one so much. I feel so put together. But before I go out on an adventure outside, I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Majuri for sponsoring today's video. It means so much to me. I'll have links to all of the pieces I own and I'll also have any additional information about the Black Friday sale, just so it's all clear and laid out for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I put so much love and thought into this one. It was so fun to go around the island and take clips of things I found to be very beautiful or special and share them with you all. I think this is my new favorite video that's going to be going up on my channel. I can't wait to see how it turns out when it's edited, but I had so much fun with this one. Oh, now I'm sad to say the outro, but that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun or helpful. I will, of course, link all of the products I used in today's video in the description down below for you all, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye!